Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. New life will come. Revival will come. Renewal will come. Regeneration, reformation will come. Every weakness will pass away from your life in Jesus' name. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Who are those people? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. I said they shall run and not be weary. I feel like running. Do you feel like running? As you have been sitting down for a long time, and then it's like, am I going to go forward? Do I want to do anything anymore? What does life hold? Don't, don't bother me. I just want to stay here until Christ will come. I'm managing to live. Now I feel like running. That strength and power to run will come to your life in Jesus' name. A positive desire to run, a passionate desire to run, a purposeful desire to run, you will run the race. You will climb every mountain. You will cross every ocean. And everything, discouragement that tied you down, everything, all the yoke will be broken in your life in Jesus' name. And the passion to run, the Lord will give you once again in Jesus' name. He says, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk, tell me, and not faint now. I reserved a verse for you that I want you to mark in your Bible and then to be watching for the fulfillment. Will you look at Psalm 138 and I'm reading from verse 8. Underline this and be watching for the fulfillment because this good thing will be fulfilled in your life. Psalm 138, verse 8, The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Can you say that with me? The Lord will perfect that which concerning me. Every crooked thing will be straightened out. Every failure will be turned to success. The feet will be turned to conquering you will be a hero in your generation the lord will perfect that which concerneth me thy mercy O lord endureth forever forsake not the works of thine own hand the lord will not forsake you his promise will be fulfilled in your life in Jesus' name. Let's come to point number three now. Point number three is our perpetual praise with progress towards the highest good. We're coming to Psalm 63 and we're reading from verse 1. Psalm 63 verse 1, O God, Thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsteth for thee. My flesh longeth for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Look at verse 2. In verse 2, to see thy power, you will see God's power. And thy glory, you'll see the glory of God. So have I seen thee in the sanctuary. Look at verse 3 there. In verse 3, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. My lips shall praise thee. My lips shall praise thee. Look at verse 4. In verse 4, it says, Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Did you see there it said, My lips shall praise thee. 
some people do not know the power of praise they have forgotten joshua and the children of israel they were about to possess their possession and go in to the land of promise you'll possess your possession you will go into the land of promise but there were jericho walls that would have hindered them and the lord said don't talk don't say anything go around those jericho walls once a day but don't say anything negative don't say how will this wall come down don't say how will this mountain come down don't say how are we going to possess don't say after all all these walls are higher than what we have ever seen before i've never seen any wall i've never seen any hindrance as terrible as this before don't say that and then on the seventh day go around seven is for perfection go around again perfection is coming in your life then go around again and after that while the walls are still standing shout hallelujah shout praise the Lord you are not shouting shout praise the Lord 